Hi everyone, Pastor Frank here. You know, I was taking a walk today in the cemetery and the scripture came up into my mind where Jesus tells us that which is dead will rise first and then we which are alive and remain will be caught up together to meet the Lord in the, in the clouds. In reference to the last days generation and the rapture of the church and often when I walk in the cemetery I, I think about who knows is it possible one of these days I'll be walking in the cemetery and the dead will rise just like Jesus said coming out of their graves and then I'll be caught away with them to go into heaven well the reason why I'm telling you this now is because I've been giving you so many different last days prophecy signs. The floods, the earthquakes, I mean massive earthquakes and they seem to be coming even faster and faster over the years. All this is documented in my book, The Last Chronicles of Planet Earth. But not just the floods, not just the diseases, the droughts, the intense heat that we're seeing around the world, increase famines, increase food prices, which by now, anyone who does shopping knows how high these prices have gotten and how high they're going to get. Now here in America, we're worried about the trains going on strike, and if that happens, Guess who supplies the food? Who moves the food? Trains. And the only thing that can happen there is expenses go up, food prices go up. And if you read Revelation chapter six, verses five through six, you'll see this is what Jesus Christ alludes to in the last days. If you're watching the news from Israel, you know that, for example, today on my post, I put that Israel again stated that they have the right to attack Iran because Iran is threatening them with this nuclear weapon that everybody believes that they're going to get now because nobody's stopping them in the deal that Biden had made or is making is going to be detrimental to the nation of Israel. And so Israel said that we'll have to go on our own. And of course, if you read Zechariah, chapter 12 you'll notice that God says that's exactly what will happen at the end everyone including the United States is going to be against the nation of Israel anti-semitism is on the rise and we know that these are all fulfillment of prophecies we see that the bordering nations are that surround Israel like the Hezbollah Syria Lebanon Gaza, the PLO there, they're always attacking Israel. And Israel, what do they do? Obviously, they don't wait, they attack very quickly and very decisively. And we know that Psalm 83 war talks about this very thing. And we're seeing the footprints of these very things that Jesus says for a specific generation. We see the woke movement. We see the pride movement. And of course, if you read Matthew chapter 24, you'll see that Jesus said that last generation was gonna be just like Noah's generation, just like Lot's generation. People wouldn't be righteous people. And that's what we're seeing. Societies breaking down, not just in America, but around the world. And there's much, much more. We see China is about ready to collapse their economy. And we know that there are major problems in other countries as well. And in order for the Antichrist to take control, as we see in the book Revelation, specifically chapter 17 and chapter 13, something major has to happen in order for the world to give up their sovereignty and to place it on one man. That man, there's a reference to the Bible, is called the Antichrist, the man of sin, the beast. And I don't believe that's that far off. Now, in one of the speeches that King Charles 
just gave, and I put this information at my site today, which is the 13th, he talks about giving this man control. And if you listen over and over again to King Charles and what he said, please go to my website and you'll see it. DemoraMinistry.com. There's a video there. You can watch it. That's D-I-M is in Mary, O-R-A at gmail.com. And when you go there, listen to what Charles said, the king. He's talking about giving power, military power, to a man who's above everyone else. And of course, we know who that is because Jesus Christ told us, in my name I came and you did not receive, but another will come in his own name you will receive. And obviously he's talking about the Antichrist. And since we're seeing all of the signs in the last days, all together in one generation, just like Jesus said in Matthew chapter 24, you can count on the rest of these prophecies taking place in our generation. Please give your heart to the Lord Jesus Christ today so that maybe when you're walking in the cemetery, you'll be one of the lucky ones to watch the dead rise first who love Jesus, who died in Christ, come out of their graves, and then you know in a twinkling of an eye, as the scripture tells us, you'll be caught up in the clouds with Jesus Christ to live with him for eternity. Other than that, when the trumpet sounds and you're not caught up, you will be facing the Antichrist and everything that Jesus wrote to us in the book of Revelation. So please, do it today. Don't wait. Christ loves you. That's why he gave us all these signs. You can count on him. He is God. He is truth. He is salvation.